the world's most expensive Reese's Cup is six bucks and 27 cents. This white chocolate. What's the name of this place we're at? I don't know. River Treats. No, River Street. I'm sorry. River Street. Made her even taste it. <laughs> How is it? It's good. It's worth six dollars. It's good. Happy Monday. Um, so I am actually headed right now to go to the nail salon. I have an appointment at five, but I told her I'll get here a little earlier because I think I need to get like a whole new set in general. I've had these nails on since August, like, so I think I need to get a whole new set, especially right before my wedding in January. I want to kind of get a whole fresh new set, so we'll see what she says, um, but I'm actually definitely going to get my nails cut down because, listen, these are a little too long for me. Like, this nail this morning, I actually kind of damaged a little, not damaged, but, like, hurt my finger to the point where it's, like, really sore, because um, it kind of hit the door, and it bent the little, ooh, that thing hurt, y'all. Um, but we um going to get them done and I'm getting them cut down um because my nails are actually growing way faster than I expected. Like my nails underneath this is like long. Um they're like literally the length of these nails. So I'm just like yo, I gotta cut these nails down, like I can't do this. I love my nails sometimes like a li little lengthy, but not this lengthy. Um I don't know how people do it. <laughs> I really don't. But yeah, so I'm heading to the nail salon. Typically, I get my Instagram story fam to help me out with picking nail designs for my um, monthly like nail appointment. But this month, I did not do it because I kind of didn't know what I really like was aiming for. I didn't really research Christmas nails like I would typically do. Um, I don't know. I haven't been in like the holiday holiday spirit like I would typically be either. Um, but I'm slowly, slowly getting there. Um, and then today doesn't really help because it's so gloomy outside and it's raining. So I'm just kind of like, um, uh, it's like blah. I guess because I already have so much going on mentally, like as far as dealing with the wedding and things like that. And it's literally a month away on Friday. So I'm just like, I have so much to do. Um, so I'm just trying to like keep my mindset going, stay positive about everything and just like stay in a good space. So that's probably why I haven't been like adding things to my plate. But, um... I am going to get my nails done because it's a form of self-care for me. It makes me feel good, and I don't feel guilty when I go get my nails done at all. Um, anything that makes me happy and brings me joy, I don't feel guilty about. Um, so, yeah, that is what I'm going to do. And I guess I'll show you guys my nails whenever I leave. But this is how my nails look now. This was for Thanksgiving, which was November. Um and i guess i like i said i'll show you guys when i leave what my nails look like and hopefully i love it i'm gonna try to aim for like a red color on my nails this time um i was gonna do red and green but truthfully like i'm like my colors are green next month so i don't know if i want to add green to my nails and i feel like i just had green a lot of green on my nails the last few months um so i'm gonna aim for some red I feel like that would definitely put me in the holiday mood. And I kind of want nails that, like, I can look at and be like, girl, like, that definitely puts you in the holiday spirit. Um, so when I leave here, I want my nails to put me in the holiday spirit and just feel good and just all of that good stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm headed to do. I'm in a little traffic. But like I said, my appointment is at 5, so I still have a little time. It's literally down the street from my job, like, maybe 5 to 10 minutes, but... On a typical day, it takes me 20 minutes to get here if it's traffic. So, that's just life. But, yeah. So, when I get home as well, as you can see, I took my braids out. Um, I'll definitely be washing my hair tonight. So, I'll probably have a long night um, of getting that done because I can't continue to walk around like this. Um, I look like I just really don't care about myself, y'all. Um, after being sick and everything, I think I'm just trying to, like, regain back my mindset where it was before I got sick and all that good stuff but I needed the rest and I needed the reset so yeah that's that um but I'll show you guys my nails when we need to when I leave the nail salon um and hopefully like I get what I want and I like them so yeah normally they're pretty good about that though but yeah I'll show you guys when I leave
I just finished getting my nails done. It's 6 09. She started at like close to 4 30. So it takes about two hours to get my nails done. But this is how they look. Of course, I'll show you guys more in the light. I'll probably put up like a video so that you guys can see them. And I also just went to Dunkin' Donuts and got the it's the brown sugar cookie cold foam cold brew something like that it's the new one that everybody been talking about so i'm gonna try it see what it tastes like um this is actually good like it's not really too sweet i like that i don't know i don't like sweet coffee like that no more um, cause even with my coffee, I put, I'm putting less and less creamer in it. Um, so yeah, but I'm out to head home cause it is raining out here. Um, but I'm out to head home and then get my hair washed. We'll wash my hair probably tonight. I don't know. I'm thinking about it really hard. I might just wait till tomorrow night, but I know it needs to be washed. So we'll see what I'll do. But, um, yeah, I'm about to get ready to head home and, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, so I'm at the house and I'm settled. So I finally wanted to show off my nails. I did not get them cut down like I said I was gonna do. Like, as I look at the length, I'm like, they're literally the same size. But initially, they were supposed to be shorter. I'm actually end up getting like a whole new set on my nails. So she took off the old set, um, acrylic set, and put on a whole new one. But this is how they look. They're so festive. So if you pay attention, this is like a half a snowflake right here. And then this nail is like a present. This nail is a snowman. This is a peppermint. And this is um, snowflakes. So they're very festive. I really love them. Um, I should have literally cut them down a little bit. Just, just a tad. Like I think if they would have just been like, like right. I'm trying to show them more. But they would just be like right here. I think they would have been perfect. Um, but they're long now, so I, it's nothing I can do about it. Um, honestly, in a month, that they'll be changed. Well, probably like way before a month. Um, I'm going to get my wedding nails done January, probably like the third ish, fourth ish, that, around that time period. So, it's not going to be like a full month. But, well, it technically will because today is what, the 5th or 6th? Something like that. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's my nails. Um, I really love them. Now, I just got to get my hair together and get myself together. I'm really, really, really this close. This close to just making a hair appointment. Because I truly, truly do not feel like doing with my own hair. Um, so, yeah, that's that. But um, I'm about to get ready for tomorrow. Which, if you guys watched the first part of this video, you would see that we were in Charleston this weekend. Um, that was really nice, and we did a lot of fun stuff as a family. Um, definitely enjoyed it. But um, yeah, so I got the sweater. It was half off, and then I got me some like cargo pants. That was like four, five, like six dollars off the clearance track. Always shop the clearance rack when you go places, y'all. Especially for the holidays, if you're buying gifts for people. They don't have to know where it comes from. Shop the clearance. Just saying. Heads up. That's a tip. That's a life hack. <laughs> Alright, quickly before I go to bed, I wanted to talk about the popcorn that I got from Trader Joe's. The cinnamon bun popcorn, inspired popcorn, kettle popcorn. This is really, really good. Like, really, really good. But tonight, I came home and I opened up these. This is white truffle popcorn. These things are disgusting. Like, I'm not throw the whole bag in the trash. They're just literally that nasty. <laughs> I'm like really mad because I'm just like, I do not like these. And I know you could take them back, but I don't know if like, because we were in Charleston this weekend, so I don't know if that Trader Joe's works the same or if I could just take it back to, I don't know. But I'm just like, they were disgusting. Don't, I don't recommend. Don't try it. None of it. Because when I think of truffle, I think of white chocolate. 
Or maybe I just had the wrong aspect of truffle, but it was disgusting. Seriously. Um, so yeah, I, I don't recommend. But the cinnamon bun one was really, really good. It's not too sweet either. So I really like this one. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give that little update about the popcorn. Um, but I'm about to go take a shower and get ready for tomorrow. Um, so yeah.